How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I want to share with you guys everything that has helped me out throughout my career. And I hope this video helps you out as well. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Like I already mentioned, these are just a couple of things that helped me out throughout my career. It doesn't mean that I'm right. It just worked out for me and hopefully it works out for you as well. First thing that I want to talk about is about walking. So I know a lot of artists can struggle with uh, just getting stuck doing walk-ins over and over and over again because you're not getting clientele that are looking to get big projects. I know that's a huge problem. I've been through it. So if you're stuck doing walk-ins at the moment and you want to get out of it so you can start doing bigger projects, this is how I did it and it helped me out so much. I did a whole bunch of walk-ins and I started saving up my money to make sure that I have enough money to pay my bills. When I saved enough money, that's when I sacrificed three months and I started giving out free tattoos. But I did not announce it on social media that I was doing free tattoos or discounted price because I didn't want people to view me as someone that's always doing specials and uh, you know created this new image of me that I'm always giving out free tattoos. I contacted my friends and the friends of my friends uh, to let me do whatever I wanted to do. I was not about to compromise. This is the concept that you're getting and there is no switching anything up because I'm giving it up for free. Once I got enough people to do the projects that I really wanted to do, I did ask them to not tell people that I gave them out for free. I told them to tell people that this is the price that I charge them. By doing that, I'm doing two things. I'm raising my prices and my work can back it up. That way nobody can question why the price is so high. But instead, they're willing to come to me because now they're seeing my potential. After you do all of this, you're gonna rebrand yourself as an artist who does nothing but big, amazing projects. Now I've always said, a good tattoo is never cheap and a cheap tattoo is never good. So always remember that you pay for what you get. Do other mediums of art. Don't just get stuck doing tattoos every single day, but you know, get your brain working and start doing oil painting, start doing a uh, airbrush, spray paint, charcoal, whatever you need to do to really get your brain working and get other perspective from different mediums. Good art requires overtime. Good art is exhausting. Only by going the extra mile, you can achieve success. This would allow you to really expand your mind and be more creative with when it comes down to tattooing. Because once you experiment with other things, you develop new techniques. For this next tip, uh, if you're an experienced tattoo artist, this one might not help you out. But maybe it will, who knows? So I want to talk about technology. The first one I want to tackle is all the apps right now that are doing the stencils for you. It's great, it is amazing, it saves you time, you just upload an image and it does the stencil for you. Right, let's try running an animal through the app. Now click stencil. Now you can see how well Ghostline prints. By doing your own stencil, you create a style on what works out for you. And it also helps your brain to start practicing and start creating this sequence on how you're gonna be doing the tattoo. So you're taking away the ability for you to create a stencil that's gonna help you out and do your best tattoo. I know a lot of artists are gonna have a different point of view on this topic, just because I know a lot of you already build the habit to use the stencil app, which is totally fine. My best advice, if you wanna try it out, I would 100% recommend for you to do a simple stencil so you, it's easy to follow and just study it, making sure that you practice it, how to execute it. And a different point of view for me, uh, when I do my stencil, I do it super simple. I barely use my stencil because I already practice so many mediums of art that I don't need to rely on my stencil. Instead, I do whatever is needed for me to see the shape of it and I improvise as I'm tattooing to make sure the tattoo looks better. But when I have a stencil that's already made for me, it makes me feel like I, I can't do more because the stencil is, is telling me what to do. But when I have a simple stencil, I feel the freedom to do whatever I need to do to make this tattoo look better. Uh, the next topic I wanna to talk about that is also about technology, it is AI. Now this one, it is very controversial, right? Because in this new generation, uh, we also have to adapt. AI is transforming our world in ways that were once unimaginable. If you're not familiar with photo generated AI, pretty much all you do is type whatever you want in and it will automatically artificially create a design for you right then and there. Like if you wanted Shrek to be eating ice cream running on a rainbow road in the galaxy, yeah. You can make that. When it comes down to AI, this one, this one is tricky, right? This one is super tricky because as you know, we have to adapt to the new generation and I am all up for that. 
I think AI is just enabling us from being creative. It does it for you. Can I get Spider-Man fighting Batman in uh, Egypt, you know, and it gives you the whole entire image. We are artists for a reason, because we are creative, because not a lot of people do can do what we do. AI is doing everything for us. All we gotta do is practice our hand movement on how to apply the tattoo, but we take away the funnest part about art, and that is creating the concept. As many of you know, you know that I love history, I love studying culture, I like knowing the history of things and anything in the world, right? So that's something when I customize something, I make sure that I follow the culture. But AI, what it does, it just gives you a general idea of what AI thinks the history of something looks like. For example, if you go on, on AI and you say, can I have an Aztec God customized that signifies rain or whatever, it will give you something that AI thinks uh, the God of rain looks like. I have all this knowledge about this culture and I see AI customize something for me, I immediately know that it's not following the culture. So you're taking away the most important thing about that tattoo specifically, which is culture. To finish off this topic, I'm not saying that it's bad or it's a negative thing to have all this technology around us that help us out as artists. I'm not saying that as an artist, we have to adapt. We have to adapt and be able to use these tools to our advantage. All I'm saying is to be responsible when it comes down to uh, using all this brand new technology and not let, it, let you as an artist not think for yourself. The next topic I wanna to talk about is how to stand out as an artist and build a brand around you to make sure that you stand out. There's hundreds and thousands of artists now and the industry is getting even bigger. So by you doing statues, Greek mythology, roses, lions, it's not gonna make you stand out because you're doing a, a dope statue and so is the other guy next door is doing a dope ass statue. Guess how many people are doing lions or Greek mythology or Egyptian pieces on a daily basis. It is insanely a lot of people, so nobody is standing out as an artist. Rose tattoos, God, this is, this is everywhere. Uh, as far as for me, what makes me stand out as an artist is obviously my cover-ups. I got in the cover-up style very early in my career where it wasn't popular yet, so I was able to stand out. But throughout the years, I also make sure that I was not relying just on cover-ups. So I started practicing color, I started practicing true grays, black and gray, cover up and because of all this experience i'm able to now customize anything i want and incorporate all of these different styles into one and on top of that obviously my personality is very hyper very energetic you know so it, it stands out me le cambio el ritmo esta mañana uh oh but i already built a brand around my my personality around my artistic abilities and as an artist. So as an artist right now, to really be successful, figure out who you are and don't be afraid to share it with the world. Which that leads me to the next and final topic, social media. I get a lot of questions saying, how can I get more followers? I'm stuck, I feel like I'm doing good tattoos, but my followers are not going up. So when I get this question, how to build more followers or how to gain more followers, it is a tricky question. Social media, it is fun. You can post whatever you want. Social media is free. Nobody can tell us what to post on how to post it. This is meant to be fun. I, I went through this phase in my career where I wanted my social media to look aesthetically pleasing, where everything's facing a certain direction and make it look so professional. And I was not getting any followers. When I started getting more followers was when I didn't care anymore. And I said, you know what? I'm just gonna post a personal thing about me, who cares? I'ma share something about me, I'ma share my trips. I'm gonna let people know who I am as a person. You gotta remember that clients, they, they're intimidated by a tattoo shop and meeting a tattoo artist. So when they only see tattoos all over the place, they don't know anything about you, it's kinda like, okay, well, I don't know who I'm meeting, I don't know who they are. I, they just need something to feel comfortable enough to book with you. And I know it's hard, I know some of you might be shy to get on camera, but you don't have to take selfies, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, share a little bit of other hobbies that you have. Like if you like cars, post about your cars, then you're gonna attract people that also like cars and that they happen to like tattoos, so that you're building an instant connection with someone that you haven't even met. You don't have to get super personal, but give them just enough. Don't be that person that says, Oh, look, I'm gonna post this tattoo. Boom. Oh, it didn't hit. Okay, next. I, I went through that phase as well. Like, who's, who's telling you not to post that same tattoo more than once? On TikTok, I had zero followers. I did not announce it anywhere on my social media that I had a TikTok. All I did, I made a TikTok and I said, I wonder if I can 
gain a lot of followers with the same method that I've been doing with other my, with my Instagram and my YouTube. The, the my most viewed video on my TikTok, I didn't post it once. I had to post it seven times until it hit. But I didn't believe in that cover up so much that I was not gonna settle for a hundred views or a thousand views. I knew that that cover up deserved more views than that. So what I did is I posted it once, didn't hit. Posted again in a different way, it didn't hit. Until the seventh time, I was I thought of a way to post it where I was gonna tell the story about how I did that cover up. And as soon as I posted on the seventh time, it hit 10 million views. And I went from 5,000 followers to 300,000 followers. Don't be that person that says, oh, I posted it once, I can't post it again, people are gonna get bored. You just gotta figure out a way to post it in a more entertaining way or deliver it differently. And I, and I think the last thing I wanna share is uh, tattoos is art. So if you're gonna do tattoos, do it because you love doing tattoos and you love the art. Don't get in it just because you see other people making money do it for the art and the money will follow and as you guys know this channel is all about building a community and helping everybody out so if you have any more tips that you want to share with us put them on the comment section drop them on the comment section let us know how can we become better artists so with that being said if you're a tattoo artist i hope you learned something from this video and if you're a tattoo enthusiast i hope you were entertained thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next video peace